Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to create all our models that we need for our application with their migrations. And in the following episodes, what we're going to do is then we're going to discuss or set up the individual model with its corresponding migration in the following episodes. All right. So in this one, uh, what we're going to do is you will see why I do this in the beginning. You can, you must always remember this, all of what I'm doing is personal preference, all right? You can do it however you want. You create your user model or your tag model. You go through the whole setting up the model, doing the migrations. You can do it however you want. This is just my preference, how I like to do things so I can know the scope and scale what I'm working with. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that you will notice, we obviously need the users. So as you can see right there, login and stuff. So that's the first thing we're going to need. Right, so what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to put in a note here for myself. So we're going to need a user model. All right. So the next one uh, that we're going to need, we're going to need a post model. Okay. All right. So otherwise we obviously cannot create any post. Right, and the next one that we're going to need is we're going to need a tag model as well. And the tag post, this one will have a belong a belongs to user relationship. Okay, the next one is the tag model. Okay, so we obviously need to create that, and this one will be a polymorphic relationship okay that with the post okay so this one will be a morph to many okay so that's basically our tag okay so the next one that we're going to need is we need to be able to leave a comment under the post so we're going to create a comment model Okay, and this one will also be a polymorphic relationship with a post. The reason for that is if you guys remember when I did the questions, all right? Because if they do later want to add something like a comment a video section or something else where it needs either a tag or it needs a comment, then we can also assign this to them quite easily. Okay. Now the next thing. Right, so we got the tags. The next one, the authors will also be users. So we're going to use the same table um, for the authors and the user. They will just have a different type that we're going to assign to them. Okay. So obviously we've got socials right here for the block itself. And then we've got socials for the user. Right. So we can decide to do this in two ways. We can create individual columns in the user table for for the different socials or we can create a model to for the socials all right so if we have like 10 different socials because you must remember this the user model is the first model that will grow exponentially if the application grows all right so you have to think about that so in the future what other comments and tables will be added actually in that so otherwise you will have a big user uh, table which is normally not ideal so if we can separate this in its own column we can uh, own table we can do that but in my case i'm just going to leave it inside the user table okay now the thing is i just want you to think about it okay but what i will do is i will create a settings model Okay, so someone will ask, that's kind of pointless because if you start off the application, you will know these details and you can add them from the, from the start. For me personally, all right, so like I said, preference. All right, now the thing is, let's say you're designing this for someone else. They might not have a Facebook or Twitter or uh, Instagram or whatever social media accounts when you start off the application but you want to give them the freedom if they later on want to add or remove their social media because let's say they close their twitter account they can just basically remove it 
themselves in their dashboard so that it will automatically update or remove it right here or they might decide they want to change it to something else okay so for settings like social media or whatever the case may be i'm going to create a settings model as well okay so let's do that so we're going to create a setting model okay and the last one that we're going to do is we've got our user just this we've got a user post tag comment and settings the last one is for the plan so if we go to our membership i want to store the monthly and the yearly plan basically in our database and work with it right there but we're obviously going to use kesha with the stripe so that we can be able to actually create our products inside stripe but to reference the prices but we will get to that part but this is basically the steps i will follow you don't have to do it but just bear with me all right so it all comes down to preference all right so this is the models that we're going to create but as you guys know the user model this one comes with default installation when you do your create your laravel Okay, so let's quickly create the post and all the rest. All right, so let's open up our terminal. All right, so the first thing that I want to create is I want to create a post model. So PHP artisan make model. All right, so this one will be a post model. All right, add the dash M flag. All right, F and C. Now that what that does is create a factory and a controller but i'm going to create the factory and a controller in its own uh, videos and lessons because i want to create a factory for my post with a cedar but i will do that in its own episode okay so what we're going to do now is we're just going to create the post model with its migration so then we just press enter right so as you can see we created our post model successfully in our migrations right so in order to view that if we go to app app uh, models you will see now we've got our user model it's already there this is comes the default installation and then we have our post model right there okay so if we go to our database migrations you will see now we have our migration post migration right there okay good stuff All right so the next one is will be our tag one so so php artisan like model tag model and we just add the dash m flag for the, for the migrations as well all right so i'm just going to do all of them you can do the same so basically for the tag the comment setting and the plan all right so all done so basically the you need to have your six models so it's our user model post model tag model comment model setting model and plan model. so one two three four five six models okay just make sure you have all of them and with its corresponding migration so under database migrations you will see we got our migrations right there okay so post one two three four five and then our user data migrations right there right so you will obviously see the jobs one when you clone the repository this is basically when we're going to do queues for our jobs that we're going to do in order to handle the post tags and comments and things like that okay so don't be afraid when you see that we're gonna i'm gonna explain that to more detail when we get to this part all right so that's it for this one all right so if you like the video guys please give it a like if you don't please give it a dislike and if you please if you do give it a dislike please give me a com uh, like a feedback to let me know what i've done wrong or what you perceived me to have done wrong so that i can learn something as well all right thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one adios